CBS 12 News starts now with breaking news. CBS 12 confirmed just moments ago that a fifth person was shot that night. Here's what we know. Three young adults were killed, two others wounded, and at least one of those wounded remains in hospital. This all happened on Mohawk Street, which is near Indian Town Road and Military Trail. CBS 12's Mike Magnoli is live there with more on this major development. Today, business owners in Palm Beach are scrambling to make sure this weekend isn't a repeat of last after witnessing a significant loss in sales during President Trump's last visit. Now, an accused shooter on the run contacts our newsroom before turning himself into sheriff's deputy. On charges, he tried to kill his own family. I ain't do nothing. I don't know nothing. I love you. I love you too. You heard me? We good. I love all y'all. I love all y'all. Jermaine Williamson Jr. went in for questioning surrounded by family members. Police believe he may be involved in the death of his stepbrother Mitch, who was killed on Thursday afternoon at Victory Park Apartments in Vero Beach. The attacks at 9-11 reshaped the face of this nation and the course of history. Nobody knows it better than the first responders that day, 22 of whom are now working at the Palm Beach County School District. Here's the story of one of those heroes. A native New Yorker, Ezra Dilbert was a first responder that day for the NYPD Emergency Service Unit. He remembers like it was yesterday. Out of the 40,000 cops that are in New York, only 375 get to be known as emergency service unit officers. So for us to lose 14 on that day was a high percentage. A father of four, he also remembers when his youngest son, now 18, came home with a history book. He said, Dad, you're part of history, right? I never really thought of it that way, you know, that we were actually part of history. Everyone who responded had anything to do with uh, the event of those days and subsequent days afterwards, yeah, we're a part of history. A part of history that will never be forgotten. The 55-year-old Dilbert is now a captain with the Palm Beach County School Police Department. He sees how the relationship between law enforcement and some members of society has changed. Unfortunately, with the climate of how things recently are with how they perceive the police, yeah, it's a little negativity, but I'll do it all over again. Now this Sunday, Captain Dilbert will receive a wellness call from the rest of the unit's crew members. It's a bond that was truly forged by the events of that day. CBS 12's Thomas Forrester joins us now with the very latest. Thomas. John Love Robinson was on bond when he was arrested in Virginia. Now, according to the Stafford County Sheriff's Office, they may revoke that bond after, well, he was arrested at a car dealership trying to buy a Jag. Nobody knows it better than the first responders that day, 22 of whom now work here at the Palm Beach County School District. Former Florida Gator icon Tim Tebow is expected to hit the field here at Tradition Field in the next few weeks. Now, CBS 12 News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Thomas Forster. It's 5 a.m. Thanks for joining us. It's the 10th of December. Well, you better grab your umbrella if you're heading out right now. Let's get right over to weather to Steve Glazier, who's tracking some of that weather. They will stop a high-powered rifle, which your regular body armor will not. This is a new protective gear issued this week to every officer on the West Palm Beach Police Force. There we go. The 40-pound ballistic body armor vest and helmet are thrown on top of the bulletproof vest already worn by officers. It's heavy. An it extra layer level of protection during active shooter situations. The advantages give us protection from high-powered rifles, uh, which has been the weapon of choice lately. The price tag for 300 active shooter kits, $121,000. Sergeant Lou Penkew, a 29-year veteran with West Palm Beach Police, says it could save lives. According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, 64 officers were killed in firearm-related incidents in 2016, a 56% increase over 2015 when 41 officers were killed. Besides lives, Sergeant Penkew says the new vest made of ceramic will help speed up response times for those in trouble. The way we handle active shooters now is that you uh, respond immediately. You don't wait for backup. You don't wait for SWAT. Your, your job is, when you, is to go in there and save the citizen. Well, forget Bloomingdale's and Bed Bath & Beyond. Domino's is launching a wedding registry while well, the pizza chain is offering gift cards in amounts of up to $100. 
Friends and families can treat the couple to food for a bachelor or bachelorette party or even get pizza delivered to the wedding venue. What do you think, Liz? I'm not sure about that. <laughs>